Hey, what's up, guys? It's the Paul Uchiha here, back with the part two of What If Naruto Was Blind and Had a Bloodline. So, before continuing this series, I would like to thank you guys for reaching 430 subscribers. If you like my content, please leave a like and subscribe and comment down below on what other What If series would you like me to do. Currently, I'm thinking on uh, doing Godzilla one, mo uh, maybe a movie, not a series, maybe a movie or a short series. I'm also going to start short series which consists of three to four parts per series so yeah and also i'm gonna be continuing one shots as well not from the fan fictions one but my own written ones so yeah without further ado let's continue over the course of years they became close and naruto changed mindscape to kurama's comfort and currently due to seal naruto can only enter kcm one state but he is still strong far stronger than Ganins, heck even some Chunins and Jonins. Danzo even helped him to train and taught him different techniques such as assassination, Kenjutsu, Sunshin, Chakra Suppression and so on. Now Naruto still stopped Mizuki single-handedly with, without Iruka's interference, much to his surprise, and got Mizuki arrested. Next day it was time for team selection. Team 7 was still Sakura, Haruno, Sasuke, Uchiha and Naruto Uzumaki, Jonin Sensei, Kakashi Hatake and rest of them were still as in canon. Now Uchiha massacre did happen in this timeline but only the guilty Uchihas were slaughtered and innocent were spared. And total 15 men were killed in this incident. Fugaku Uchiha, the head of the Uchiha clan as well as the leader of the Kureta was slain by Itachi who then became a rogue ninja. So Sasuke is emo but not as bad as in canon. Now Naruto, Sasuke and Sakura were waiting in the classroom for their Jonin sensei all by themselves. Well obviously because due to their Jonin sensei being late, Naruto was simply sitting crossing his arms and eyes closed. Sakura was getting angry at their Jonin sensei for being late. I'm going to rip that bastards into shreds. Cha! What the thoughts of inner Sakura now? Sasuke was just sitting on the on his seat, occasionally staring at the blonde. It had been three hours. Suddenly Naruto got up straight and said, "Finally!" And as on cue, Kakashi walked in the room as his eyes, as he eyed the three Ganins. My first impression: you all are boring. He said with a nice smile. Now meet me at rooftops within five minutes. He said before disappearing in a sunshine of leaves, leaving all of them baffled. Both Sakura and Sasuke got up and ran through the door, leaving Naruto behind. And Naruto got up and sighed before he too disappeared. Now on the rooftop, Kakashi appeared and sat down reading an orange cover book. As after four minutes, both Sasuke and Sakura came bursting through the door on the roof as Kakashi signaled them to sit and then he asked where is the blonde where is the blondie before two of them could answer a voice came from the corner opposite to where they were sitting they this shocked three of them as they saw the direction from which the voice came from it was Naruto sitting there with a wooden cane in his hands after removing after recovering from their shocks, Kakashi asked, Now, let's begin with introductions, shall we? Oh, yeah, you, Pinky. You go first, said Kakashi, pointing at Sakura. Her introduction was the same as in canon, still being annoyed and ogling Sasuke with fangirl eyes. Sasuke got next and he said, My name is Sasuke Uchiha. My likes are my mother, training, onigiri and tomatoes and my dislikes are fangirls and itachi my dream is to bring glory to the uchiha clan and last one was naruto my name is naruto uzumaki my likes are ramen nature the yugas and hinata chan oh i also like to train with them as well also along with tenzo sensei and my dislikes are people who can't differ between a sealing scroll and a kunai that is sealed inside of it and as for my dream it is to become the strongest ninja ever walked down this planet after some silence kakashi said ma you will be having bell test tomorrow so don't eat 
if you don't want to puke this test will this test will prove that you are worthy of gannins or not at this all of them were shocked before they could ask anything kakashi disappeared in swirl of leaves again leaving three gannins surprised after some time naruto got up and stay, started to walk away from both of them hey naruto where are you going questioned sasuke it's quite obvious i'm going to hokage's monument why do you ask asked naruto well i was hoping we could train said sasuke i suppose that wouldn't hurt no let's get going shall we said naruto getting a note from sasuke and sakura just tagged along just because of sasuke time skip to the training grounds naruto and gang arrived at training grounds naruto then said now why don't we spar you two against me this caused both of them sakura and Sa- sasuke to have wide eyes um are you sure don't cry when you lose said sasuke with a smirk yeah naruto baka said sakura tagging along oh don't worry i may be blind but i have some tricks up my sleeves said naruto with a smile your funeral said sasuke getting into uchiha style fighting stance sakura getting into academy style fighting stance when naruto got into senju style fighting stance as both sasuke and sakura rushed towards naruto sasuke trying to kick but naruto dodging sidestepping sasuke and sakura was about to throw punch at naruto which naruto backflipped and kicked both of them away as both of them landed far away from naruto at some distance are you sure you blind also asked sakura yes i'm pretty much sure i am answered and annoyed naruto by this question as they continued their taijutsu battle for seemed like an hour both sakura and sasuke were exhausted damn it thought Sa- sasuke i can't even land any motion on him and i can't even read his movements due to my sharing gun being locked naruto sensing his emotion said um sasuke i think you did very well for your age and your style i'm gonna be honest with you here i have been training since i've been six years old and due to my blindness my senses and instincts increased greatly and drastically and you both did good so can need a little bit of training so yeah don't be so hard on yourselves both of you said naruto scratching back of his head scratching back of his head as both looked at him with surprise and feeling kind of happy on being praised by him as this took place kakashi watched them from shadows and gave them a nice smile next day training ground 7 6 30 a.m naruto sasuke and sakura were there and eating breakfast because naruto told them that their senses suggested that they don't eat but didn't order them at which both sakura and sasuke agreed after having breakfast they decided to spar again until it was 9 a.m until kakashi arrived yo he said you're late sensei screech sakura sasuke grunted in agreement while naruto just had a stoic emotionless face ma i was lost in the path of life said kakashi with a nice smile at which all three of them sweat dropped and a tick mark appeared on back of their heads now let's begin the test all you have to do is get these bells from me until noon or you all will fail and be sent back to academy but sensei there are only two bells and we are three y'all said sakura confused they were three as they were three and the bells were two yes which means one of you will be failing and sent back to academy now begin as all three of them disappeared into the bushes naruto figured it out that the test was about teamwork and told his teammates after convincing both sakura and sasuke and hence they passed the test with flying colors and d rank begin the month of d rank missions begin during the during this month their bond got some somewhat strong as sasuke started to open up and dropped his masks of stoicness 
and emoness and sakura also got over her fangirl attitude and began to train vigilantly as naruto and hinata also grew close Kagashi was happy seeing his team as the d rank missions month went by as they were standing in hokage's office for a c rank mission uruka uruka could you get a t could you get tausana for me please Iruka, could you get Tausana for me, please? said the old Hokage. Hi, Hokage sama. As Ukra left, and after some time, came back with a drunk guy named Tausana. Now, what, what these kids are gonna do? Protect me? From what? Ants? asked Tausana, laughing and mocking them. Ma, Tausana san, my team and I are more than enough for your safety, said Kakashi. As all three again, all three of them remained calm due to their time spending with Naruto and he, him teaching them to be calm and collective and be with one in nature, you know. Oh well, fine, I guess, said Tausana. Now, Team Salmon, meet me at front gate after an hour. Now, pack up your stuff and you are dismissed for now, said Kakashi as he vanished in several several leaves leaving behind as did the team salmon much to the surprise of uruka and hokage after an hour they met up at the front gates and so the journey to the land of wave began so yeah i'm gonna leave this part here guys i'm not feeling that much well because i haven't been feeling well my stomach is upset kind of so yeah hope you like this part and if you like me to make this part more action and fight worthy in the next part of this what if so yeah i would try to make that because i haven't done much about the fighting part in this what if so yeah i will try to do more fighting scenes in the next part of this what if so yeah comment down below if you want fighting scenes yeah okay this is apollo chiha and i'm signing out